Hello and welcome gamers to Halo Clans for today's interview. Today's interview is with Master X Makarov, leader of Fairy Tale. So, uh, why don't you give us a little bit of your personal clan history? Um, well, it all started back on Halo 3. I started a clan called Fist, uh, First In Strike Tactics. Uh, it was a little clan that me and my buddy started. Went with a Alice in Wonderland kind of ranking structure. I won't get too much into that unless, you know, you want details, but I, you know, I leave questions in the comments, but uh, it started there. That evolved into KIA, the original KIA, the Chaos Impact Avengers uh, at the start of Reach. We met clans like Gamma, World Retribution Clan, Brothers in Arms, and sadly, JFCA. From there, we decided to be a bit more serious about our clan business, and that's kind of where Kings in Arms came in. Uh, that's where most of the people in this community know me as, is KIAX Tactician, or KIAX Edo Tensei, or KIAX Diclonius of the Kings in Arms, and... We can go without the drama. <laughs> I know we could, but... Um... That's where most people know me. Uh, I've led three organizations, two of them successful, one of them I kept pushing it to try and be, but there was no success to be found. The clans in there didn't have the potential to move on. I don't want to be an absolute jerk, but in the end, that's just the honest truth. Um, the names of the organizations, by the way, are Organization 13, Nerve, and CCDI. I am currently the leader of Fairy Tale, so that is basically from 2008 to present. All right. Uh, I know back when I was in uh, KIA, you know, it was my job to look at enemy maps objectively and find the best route in. But what do you think was out of all your clan history? the toughest battle that you had to go through? Uh, that differs on perspective. If we're going to go by toughest, as in the opponent actually gave us a run for our money, then I am going to say DoD. Uh, if it weren't for technicalities and the fact that we had warriors off the battlefield helping fight the war, uh, such as, you know, intelligence, we had spies sabotaging their trainings and such, I will be straightforward, we would not have won those wars. As strong as our members were, we would not have won those wars. DoD was a very tough opponent, and I can admit that we did lose firebase battles to them, and we did lose competitive fights to them. But in the end, their clan was the one that fell. So, however, if you're looking at time constraints, as I guess a lot of clans nowadays are saying, tougher fights are the fights that last longer. I would have to give it to, and I can't select any secular clan, as there were multiple clans who attacked. It would be the Sanghealy community back in the Spartan Sanghealy War, where we had a 10 to 12 hour consecutive raid where we were attacked by about four to five clans back to back. Four members of Kings in Arms defended against 12 members constantly onslaughting our capital, which was Terminal Dogma, for those of you who don't know. Um, so, I mean, depends on your perspective. It's either going to be DoD for having a tougher battle. Or it's going to be the same Healy for actually making us fight for our victories. What are your current member counts at? Because I know you're kind of split between Reach and the next-gen console. I'm going to be straightforward. I'm not going to account the 360 branch there, and I'm sad to say this, not the most reliable bunch of people that I know. Not saying that they aren't reliable, but... I haven't been on 360 to personally check up on it, and I don't want to give you numbers that they're throwing at me without being able to personally verify it myself, but I can tell you there is at least 15 members on the MCC, plus a minimum of two to three members on 360, those being the leaders I'm constantly commuting with. Now, what are your personal plan goals? Where do you want Fairy Tale to be in the future? Well, I have several years of playing experience. I know you're asking me a question, I'm kind of sidetracking this, but it's kind of one of those I need to back this up. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of clan leaders from the, for uh, the former community that's in air quotes. I know you can't see this because it's an audio, but um, where KIA was considered a power by a lot of clans, 
Uh, still to this day, a lot of clans from that former community say that they are a power. And I would like to see that with Fairy Tail. I'd like to see Fairy Tail come into power. I would like to see them be a major clan. You know, I'd like to see that that name be as respected as KIA was back in the day. However, as a leader, I don't just want to see them match that. I want to see them go past that. I want to see them strive to be better than their former self. Alright, um... Now, you're holding kind of a tournament thing called the Grand Magic Games. Why don't you give us a little bit of the detail on that for people that want to get involved? Alright, um, long story short, Fairy Tale, everyone knows, a lot of people know, I won't say everyone because that's, that's not right, uh, it, Fairy Tale's an anime, and the Grand Magic Games is kind of a concept that comes from the anime, it's simply a large tournament that a bunch of guilds, or in this case clans, get together for friendly competition to fight for number one clan. Uh, now, of course, in the anime, it's a five-day tournament, and there's several different mini-games and fights, you know, you have what we would translate into Halo to be fun little custom games like Oddball and stuff, and then, of course, 1v1s and 2v2s. However, to not make people wait so long, we are solely making it the final day, which is a 4v4v4v4, or four teams of four into an arena that me, Guild Arts, Freed, and a few other members have built ourselves. That is kind of a close quarters arena. Each team will be given a sniper and a shotgun with one clip, no spare clips, start off with a battle rifle and an assault rifle, and each kill earns your team a point. Each team will also have a selected leader that they will It'll be made public so every team knows, though I cannot, you know, I can't register it in the game. Getting a kill on that leader will give you five points instead of the original one. Uh, the way the tournament's going to work is the team, the clan with the most points will be the winner. Uh, so far we have enough clans registered, we could probably do two different rounds. So... You know, we'll have one game, a four, you know, four teams of four, another team, and the top two teams of each branch will go off into a semifinal, or into the finals, my bad. Um, also, clan leaders are prohibited from joining, which means I myself will not be joining, but we will have a team ready for it. Alright, um, do you have beef with anyone in the community, and if so, why? That's a tough question, because when I think of it objectively, I don't necessarily have beef with anyone. However, there are some people that are... Well, let me put it this way. I don't have beef with anyone in the community. However, there are people who wish to say they are in the community who are not, at least not at this moment, who I do share some beef with. Uh, Century Director, you're number one on my bleep list. Um, I'll just go ahead and edit that for you. Um, you do not tell my members to hang from a tree, you... I'm trying to be, I'm trying not to swear here, I know you'll bleep it out, but... Racist comments were implied. Enough said. I understand you were upset by my members' actions, but that is not in any way, shape, or form... What you said was not called for. I don't care what your reasoning is. Alright, um... Lighter topic. <laughs> what do you want to see most in Halo 5? Oh, oh. Having been here on the first day of the beta, you know exactly what I saw and what I liked about it, and I liked a lot of that game. You saw that. My first game, Extermination, and everything, you were here to help me celebrate that. But since then, of course, a lot more information has been leaked, such as Warzone. And we've already decided we're going to have a dedicated Warzone team, because... Yeah, Warzone. I know I'm not trying. I'm not trying to overhype it for myself. But when you see that video, you see what you're expecting. That is, that's an amazing concept. I know it started in Titanfall. I'm not gonna say sit here and say it's an original idea. I'm not gonna no. But it is a nice concept concept to see that in a Halo game. We've liked Firefight. We've liked Campaign, and we've liked multiplayer. So the fact that they're kind of adding Firefight into online multiplayer it's I do expect the games to lag a little bit but it's definitely a good concept I enjoy it 
Alright, um, that's about all the questions that I have. Uh, so, you can either ask me a question or put in your recruitment message. Alright. Or both. Well, Fairy Tale is recruiting, as long as you're 15 and up and have a mic. So, there's that. But, let me ask you, my newbie bits, or Halo clans, what did you think of KIA when you were in it? Uh. Let's go back to the Reach era. That, in my opinion, was a lot brighter than the Halo 4 era. Back on Reach, I felt like we had a lot to live up to in the aspect of everyone was trying to be a power, but I felt that even though we were clearly outnumbered in a lot of matches, that we were able to stand up to the challenge whenever it came. Is that what you were looking for? That's not what I was looking for, but it works. Now, do you feel that was the skill of the individual member, or do you feel that was something else? I'm gonna tell you right now, I am not the best 1v1 in the community. I can also tell you right now, there are times where I am a horrible leader. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I am the god of leaders. That is by no means the truth. I am. There are times where I am the worst leader in the community, and I know it. Well, I mean, there are times where I have put my Xbox up and put it in a shelf because I just did not feel like I was able to do things like that. But what what do you what is it you think that makes the members, I won't say of just my clan, but any clan strive to be better than the average Joe, the average player in our community. To be honest, it's not on a personal scale of where, you know, one person wants to be better than the other. It's more on a basis of, you know, it's not kind of, you always try to bring in this military aspect and, you know, it's good in its own little way, but what ultimately brings you together to fight harder is just being friendly with one another and if you're tight-knit in a group of people you just strive to fight harder for that win and that's why I think that you know KIA and several of the other clans in the community back then were able to push on to what they were. So with what we've just discuss, I guess, with my question, asking you questions and you answering. What style of clan do you think is better? A, a smaller, more tight-knit clan, or a larger, organized clan? Let, let, let's use United Nations. That was a very well-known name back in the day. And to this name, for some reason, is still, still known today. Um, not trying to bash here, they have been kind of out of power and out of the community for two to three years now, and the only thing they really got really well was their videos. I'm going to speak from personal experience here. They were a very large and organized clan. I never got to really see how powerful they are. I got to see how powerful UUF was and I was very disappointed. Um, so my personal opinion is that a tighter knit clan is a lot more powerful than a larger organized clan. It, it kind of goes on the whole uh, my, you know, I'm not saying clans or businesses, but like, look at a business business perspe uh, prospect. You know, those little family businesses make much better quality products than large companies because they're not mass producing them. And in my opinion, clans are similar. You get a lot of numbers, you get a lot of people. You don't really, you see them as just faces. You see them as military. You're not really. You know, and that's not true in every aspect. I know, you know, clans, larger clans get to know each other, be friends, but... Well, yeah. I think it is, is once you get past 40 members, your clan's quality starts to decline in the aspect of, uh, it's easier to get in spies, and there's a lot of he said, she said BS, and that's what makes a lot of the larger clans crumble, and that's... Partially the reason why Reach kind of had its falling out there at the end and Halo 4 didn't really go on very good and well besides Master Chief Collection's problems at the beginning and still some problems now, um, that's why it really didn't take off as well. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Any more questions? If I did it would only be the one more and that's that uh... You, you mentioned the communities falling out. Um, that's been a very touchy su subject lately. Um, as you know, a lot of people have been talking about, you know, why is the community, is it growing, is it declining, is it this, is it that? 
you know, are we are we slowly dying? Are we rising into power? No one really has a clear answer. Uh, people like Power and Dividable have tried to give their input, you know, tried to say that it's this and that. And I'm not dissing them, like I said, I'm not dissing anyone in this video. I'm just using names and references here. You know, I believe that Dividable said that our community is growing and prospering, you know. And in my personal opinion, the community is. However, I believe a lot of people, and Facebook shows this the best, I'm sure a lot of people understand this. There was a post actually the other day that got me thinking about this whole subject, and that's that when you say the community, what do you think? Do you think MCC, Halo 4, Reach, or do you think the, the community, all four? See, in my opinion, a lot of people think when they say the community, they think strictly just their game. They don't realize that their community actually spans over all these games. So when they think the community, they think the small little bunch of clans they interact with. When in reality, the community is a culmination of Halo Reach, Halo, you know, Wars at some reason, uh, Halo 4, Halo MCC, uh, soon to be Halo 5. I know not a lot of clans are going to Halo 5, but that will be another branch of our community. Our community as a whole hasn't shrank. It has grown since our, once again, air quotes, golden age. We have just become so narrow-minded as to see it as one game, not an overarching community, that we just have this negative look out, you know, outlook on it. You know, look out, look out. <laughs> uh, I really view the community kind of like the stock market. Um, you know, when the hype's up, the stock goes up. Right. When the hype goes down, the stock goes down. You know, it's kind of like MCC came over and the stock dropped. For you know, at that, least a month. Yeah, for at least a month. And then, you know, it kind of went back to those other games and then you started seeing all this stuff for Halo 5 and it just slowly started building up and the stock started to rise again. And uh, I think when Halo 5 makes its big debut and hits the market that, you know, stock markets are just going to crash because they don't, they can't support the amount of people <laughs> going into the servers there. Uh, I personally played the beta. I loved it. Ranking was a little dodgy. Um, it is beta. Well, I mean, you know, I go in, I win nine games, carried everybody in all those nine matches and my team loses the tenth match and so I'm getting ready to go into gold out of silver and you know they lost I, I don't consider it a loss for me because you know I like had like a 2.0 KD spread plus, yeah I still went like plus 10 points. and it brought me all the way back down to the beginning of silver and I'm like what the f <laughs> you know, unlike me, who you also sat here and watched play that same morning, one night of my ten games carried every single game, didn't go once go negative, even scored an extermination in my very first game, and I was placed in Onyx 2, which is, if anyone knows, is the third highest tier, right below Pro and Semi Pro. Right, so point is, it's a little dodgy. It's, it was beta. still in beta. It was. <laughs> yeah, in, in beta, it was dodgy. Fair enough. Let's hope that it does get fixed. I won't say that, you know, anything. Let's do hope that it does get fixed. If anyone else remembers Halo Reach's beta, I played that too, and that game also has slightly wonky uh, ranking as well as games itself. Yeah, that did. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it really <laughs> did. Okay. Yeah. Well, but that's it for me, I suppose. All right. Um, this has been Halo Clans slash My Newbie Bits, and Master X Makarov signing off. Woo!